with it. We'll stick with it. Hopefully, um, it's just a glitch and it hasn't appeared rather than actually not programmed. There, boom. Okay, boom. Dark matter. Oh my days. Thank. What is going on everybody, my name is AK, back again with another YouTube video, and in today's video we'll be unlocking Dark Matter Live. So after a lot of game time, in fact, uh, we're currently looking at what, uh, almost six days worth of game time, we are finally uh, right at the end of all of the camo challenges. So uh, for those of you interested, the way we did it is, uh, is I did all of the assault rifles, all of the SMGs, uh, then I did pistols, just because those are the three categories of guns that are used in competitive. Uh, after I'd finished them, went back up and did the rest of the primaries, did tactical rifles, LMGs, then snipers. Uh, then back to secondaries, I started with the M79, which was very hard. I did make a YouTube video on that, uh, if you're trying to get this gold as well. I uh, found a few, uh, few very good tips for all that. And then finished with the knife, the two launchers, and finally onto the shotguns, of which we only have uh, one more challenge to do. Let me just show you what that is quick. So, as you can see, we have two enemies killed, uh, detected, stunned, or blinded by score streaks. And so, uh, I've got a little class that we can do that with. We've got a field mic. Uh, so we'll either work our way up to the field mic, uh, get our kills with the stun grenades, or wait until we've got a UAV and use that. So what I'm going to do is I'm hopping into a game of Nuketown. We're going to get this thing uh, diamond, which will then complete Dark Matter, uh, and then I'll take it into custom games and show you all of my competitive classes uh, and what they look like with the Dark Matter camo on. So hopefully you guys are going to find this video interesting. If you do, be sure to drop a like, and let's get straight into it. So here we are, we've got a game of Nuketown Domination. Now Domination's a bit annoying because it's quite a long game mode and I don't know if you know but uh, I tend to always stick around till the end of the game uh, for the camos because there have been a few glitches in the past where uh, if you leave early you actually lose the camo progress that you made in that game so uh, I'm going to have to play the whole game out in its entirety. But yeah, what we're really going to do is we're working on getting that field mic. Once we've got our field mic then we can uh, throw that down and, uh, and then hopefully get our two kills. Either that or the UAV, whichever comes first I suppose. Now this is my first game on, so you'll have to excuse if the gameplay is pretty bad. Uh, I have been working my way up the skill-based matchmaking ranks again after uh, falling very sharply down after uh, after doing the launches, but I think we're uh, I think we're pretty much back up to where we were before. Now, I've just remembered we can also use the stun grenade, so if we stun someone and kill them, uh, I believe that does actually count as well. So let's uh, see if we can do that. There we are. That's one. Finally, one more to go. Okay, will we do it in this life? There's people that are pushed up onto the point. I think maybe we can get that to go there. Ah, I think they both had tack masks. Never mind. Yeah, I'm not exactly the best with shotguns, so um, it's it's not the uh, it hasn't been the easiest doing the shotguns. I think in terms of difficulty, I'd have to say that the hardest thing to do probably was the uh, the uh, the launchers, especially the RPG with the uh, the kills on the um, on the aerial score streaks that well you can't lock onto. So that was actually uh, that was very hard. But other than that, there wasn't really too much was that hard. The only thing that really sticks out was actually levelling up the snipers. Uh, I felt that I had pretty much all of the level 40 uh, challenges and all of the uh, challenges before done at around maybe like level 41, level 42. And so then there was quite a lot of playtime with the snipers where I wasn't really actually uh, getting any progress towards the camos. So we haven't actually managed to get any kills with uh, any other kills with a stun, but we are uh, only 10 points off our UAV, so uh, I think it might be a good... Never mind, he's got a war machine. There we are, so we've got our UAV, so I think we're going to call that in, and then there's someone downstairs, I believe. Oh. There we are. Is that it? It'd be a bad way to do it, we almost uh, failed to kill. There we are, Dark Matter Camo. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, let's go. And, of course, Diamond Shotguns, and, uh, and blown up by a war machine. There, wow. That has taken a Why long time. Why are you guys next, just asking? There's someone in game chat too. But wow, that's uh, that's a good feeling. Finally got Dark Matter after all this time. And uh, there's there's already someone on my team that has Dark Matter, uh, the Dark Matter camo, so uh, I have, I have ha I've been able to use the gun if I pick up his after he dies. But um, finally having it for myself is, uh, yeah, it's something special, man. Can't wait to finally head into a, uh, a custom game, throw them on my competitive classes and uh, and be able to use them again. So what I'll do is I'll play the rest of this game out and, uh, and then, uh, yeah, I'll see you in a custom game with all my classes. So I've finished up the game, and uh, and here we are, and there it is, the uh, the dark matter camo and the and the calling card you get for getting it. Let's go throw this on some classes and just see how cool this looks. So here it is on the XM4. Let's uh, do a little showcase of that. It uh, it certainly looks very nice. Uh, let me know whether you prefer this one or the zombies one. I think they're both pretty good. Although I think just the fact that the multiplayer one is a little bit harder to get. Uh, there's certainly more people that have the zombies one. I think uh, that for me makes the multiplayer one look uh, and feel nicer to have. 
So a gun I really wanted to try it out on was the Sniper, and as you can see, it actually looks really sick on this one. You've got the whole uh, of the scope actually covered in the camo, which the only one thing that I do find quite annoying about some of the camos in this game is uh, that the camos don't actually cover much of the gun. Uh, for some of them, I'll show you the Krig in a sec. I think that one uh, does suffer from that a bit, but certainly on this one, uh, there's some uh, there's some nice coverage of the gun with the Dark Matter camo. So yeah, this is a nice one. So as I said, uh, here's the Krig, and uh, as you can see, you've, you've got the main body of the thing. It'd be nice if they'd sort of extended a little bit, maybe with the barrel uh, as well, just to get a little bit more of the camo. But I have to admit, it still does look pretty nice. And then finally, here it is on the AK-74U, uh, a nice coverage on that gun as well. So there we are, Dark Matter Camo, uh, or the Dark Matter Ultra, as I believe it's called, finally, uh, finally got that in multiplayer. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like and uh, let me know how close you are if you're going for it or if you've already got it, uh, let me know how long it actually took you to get it. But with that said and done, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.